What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and I got this awesome Cyber Power UPS or Uninterrupted Power Supply. It's essentially a battery for your workstation or whatever it be. Before we crack into it, I want to talk a little bit about it. Um, I know a little bit about UPSs. Um, like I said, they're batteries and they, they allow your desktop to keep running is if you know your power goes out. Um, the unique thing about working on a desktop is that you don't have that capability when, um, for example, you're working on a, a laptop or a MacBook Pro or whatever it be, you always have that battery to back it up if, you, if power is ever lost. This CyberPower UPS features an AVR, which is automatic voltage regulation, a multifunction LCD display, has 810 watts, and will allow you to run your digital video recording. So if you ever lost power and you were, you know, you have a CCTV or closed circuit television in, around your home or whatever, if you lost power, it, fe it will keep power to that system for an estimated 420 minutes. These are claims made by CyberPower. I haven't tested them. Again, this is just an unboxing and first impressions of this product. It will keep a 21 inch iMac desktop computer running for 58 minutes after loss of power. And then it will keep your television set or your game, your entertainment center set up running for around 24 minutes after loss of power. And that's saying that this thing is fully charged. These are all claims by CyberPower. We'll go ahead and crack into it while I talk a little bit about this product. It protects against surges, over voltage, uh, sags, so if there's ever a loss or a dip in, in power, under voltages, uh, line noise, uh, and then the most uh, common thing is uh, power failure. So let's open this thing. And it's one hell of a product because it is heavy. If you're interested in purchasing, a link will be in the description of this video. And you can look at different options because they make different power wattages and such for different uh, use cases. In the packaging, it's uh, packaged rather well. It's got all these styrofoam casings around it. And then you get a display booklet and a USB 2.0 cable. Um, again, we'll take a closer look at this thing. It's a beastly product. I, if I do say so myself, it is heavy. All right, so that does it for the unboxing portion of this video. The CyberPower UPS is uh, built like a tank and it weighs as much as one too. Uh, for around $130 on Amazon, you can't go wrong because this thing will protect thousands of dollars of equipment if a surge or something uh, like that happens. Not to mention the uninterrupted power source when uh, the power goes out or you have a power failure and you're working on a very important project, this thing will keep you running. Uh, for a little while so you can close out your projects and stop them and put them in a safe place before you shut down your whole system. So this thing is, it provides the protection that you need and all for around $130, you really can't beat it. All right, so to take a quick tour around the Cyber Power UPS system, you can see that the LCD screen provides a very granular breakdown of what's occurring within the system. Um, you're also provided 2.1 amp uh, or 5 volt USB uh, ports to charge your devices. So if you have this in an area in which you can plug in a mobile device or a tablet or whatever, this thing supports that as well. So this LCD screen will communicate things like load capacity, battery capacity, um, if it's in normal functioning mode, which you can see that it is, um, right next to the normal will populate a, a little icon that says that it's functioning on battery power. If you lose power um, or a power surge occurs, um, when you're on battery power, this will change to minutes. So it'll give you an actual time breakdown on how long you have to function on this. And then you can also cycle through this stuff with this button. You can see input, output. Moving along to the rear of this UPS system, you can see that you're given some network inputs, coaxials, uh, in addition to a USB and a serial port. And this allows for you to connect your, your computer directly to this thing so you can get some more information on what is going on within the system. There's an interesting little LED that's right here that will give you a wiring fault notification. So if you connected anything to this system that is not wired correctly, this little red LED will illuminate and will notify you that something is going on that's not of normal functioning. Now the difference between these outputs and these, uh, you can see uh, cyber power is clearly identified which is provides power and which is just surge protection. 
Um, the good thing about the ones that provide power, they also provide surge protection. The thing with this, not all 10 of these outputs will output power. So these five will allow you to continue running in, a, in the event of a power failure or whatnot, um, but these five will not. So if the power goes out, anything plugged into these and this side of the cyber power will lose power immediately and whatever's plugged into these side will continue to run. And the final thing that's on the back of this cyber power UPS is the circuit breaker and that's this little red button here. Now this cyber power UPS system is probably one of the best investments that I've made and the reason behind that being is that it's $130 on Amazon at the time of this video and this $130 will allow me to protect thousands of dollars of electrical equipment um, in addition to your time. So what do I mean by that when it comes to time? Well, let's say you're working on a very important project on your desktop and you lose power and then your total project is lost because of that power loss. This will allow you to continue to run to put your project in a state of recoverability or whatever it is that you need to do and save it and close it and allows you enough time to shut down your desktop system in the event of a power failure. If you're familiar with my channel, you know modularity is very big in my book of, of usability and also value. This system is completely modular. Uh, what do I mean by that? The, the cells within the battery are replaceable. So if you have a, a cell that fails within the system, you can disassemble it and replace those cells. You just order a replacement cell from CyberPower and break it down and replace that cell and you are back up and running like this thing was brand new. Without further ado, I wanna go ahead and get into some demonstration portions and I am going to hook up all my equipment to this system or my, my workstation. I'm gonna cut the power to that and I'll demonstrate uh, by plugging in uh, say a nightlight or whatnot into the top part of the, the outlet and then I'll plug this, this portion into the bottom part of the outlet and then I'll go and cut the circuit breaker in my house and we'll see if this thing will continue to power my system. All right, so here I am about to cut the power to my workstation. The UPS is gonna handle it. Now you can see all the lights were plugged directly into the outlets and not through the UPS. And this is a, a very good demonstration of how this system holds up in a sudden power failure. It's powering everything that you hear. So my external speakers, uh, the Mac Pro, the 34UM95, all with no problem. So I, I don't have any data corruption or anything of that matter. I just keep on working. And at this point, if it was a real power failure, I would go ahead and save my project as quickly as possible and shut down and then turn everything off. Again, this is a demonstration of this thing practically applied in a real situation. Well, that about does it for me in this one, everybody. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comment section down below what it is that I can do to improve. Your feedback is extremely valuable to me. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel and some of the past works that I've done. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel and you haven't done so, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.